Hi guys, welcome to our channel. If you're new here or if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm Emmy from the Crazy Bookish Asians and for today I thought a video that really no one asked for and probably no one will even watch but I like watching this type of video so I thought I'd do one here for our channel and it's me talking about my classics literature collection and because I don't really like long intros uh, let's just get right into it but I do want to say uh, the way I collect books, it's literally like all over our house. I don't have a specific office or a specific place where I have all my books in a shelf. So I have books all over. Like I said, I have books in the living room, even some in the kitchen, basement, our stairwell. So the way I'm going to be talking about these books is basically just how I have them instead of putting them all together by author or any, any organization like that. So it'll probably drive some of you crazy because even books i have two copies of they're not together in the same place and like books by the same author i have scattered all over the house so i hope you guys don't mind but realistically that's just how i have it here so i thought that's how i would show it to you all right so let's get into it okay the first uh section i'm going to show you guys is this here by our stairwell as you guys will see so i will talk about the classics i have here i'm only going to talk about the classics uh, because if I talk about the other books, we're going to be here forever. Alright, okay, so let's start. Okay, so starting off on the top shelf here. Let me remove some of the stuff here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So for this part here, I only have one, one collection, I guess you would say. And it is uh, the Bronte collection. And this is the Artress um box set so uh, show you guys what is in here i do like that artwork it's for wuthering heights i believe okay so jane here one of my all-time favorite books wuthering heights okay let me see if i can pan out there okay the professor which I haven't read. I think I've only read Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights from this collection anyway. This one is The Tenant of Wild Fall. Wildfell Hall. And Bronte. And Agnes Grey. Also by Anne Bronte. Alright. Okay, now second level here. So let's see what the classics are. Well, I guess this one counts as a classic. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Can't pull it out. Nancy Drew. Love Nancy Drew growing up. And okay. Okay. Uh, this one. This one I've had because we read this for university, I believe. But I honestly can't even remember The Warden by Trollope. Okay. And what else? Okay, my three of my JD Salingers are here. So two copies of Catcher on the Rye and Nine Stories. And what else? Hundred Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Okay. And over here, oh okay here. I'll talk about this. Shakespeare. Oh my god, I've had this since I was like in elementary school. All Swell That Ends Swell by Shakespeare. And this two are from university. They're the they're uh, from the survey courses I took, which is uh, this one for my poetry class, Poetry and English, an anthology. My favorite, probably one of my most favorite classes in university. Oh my god, I even have my syllabus. Oh my gosh. So just to show you guys. I don't know if you can read it. Some of the stuff that we had to do. So this is a great uh, collection of poems that we studied in university. Uh, starting from the Middle Ages to modern. To 20th century, I believe. Okay. And this one is for another survey course I took in university. The Norton Ontology 
mythology, English literature. Do I have the syllabus for this one? No. Oh, let me see. Oh, um, this is one of the things that we studied, Memorial Verses by Matthew Arnold. Oh my gosh, my notes. Ah. Yeah, and this one, well, I guess it's an anthology, right? So let me see from where did it start, what period. Oh my god. Okay, from the Romantic to 20th century. So William Blake is the first one. Anyways, that is it for this level. Alright, and go to the next one. Okay, for the next one here, let me see if I can... Oh, okay, is that a better? Let me remove this one. What are the classics I have here? Okay, uh... Hemingway, the pair is here. And another one of my favorite books. A Movable Feast, also by Hemingway. Sun also rises. Hemingway. And The Old Man and the Sea, Hemingway. Okay, what else do I have here? Uh, Yellow Paper and Other Stories by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. And this one is an actress. And this one are Wordsworth Classics. Fyodor Dostoevsky, Crime and Punishment, Charles Dickens, David Copperfield. Okay. Tender is the night. I have Scott Fitzgerald, and I have a flu, a flu, a few Andrew. Uh, what did I say, Andrew? Oh my God, Pablo Neruda. So I have this one, Los Versos del Capitan, in Spanish. Twenty love songs and a song of despair. The captain's verses, and a uh, residence on Earth. Okay, and I think that is it for classics here. Now at the bottom level. Okay, so now for the bottom level here. Let me see what I have. In terms of classics, I think just one, which is this one, The Hobbit. Tolkien. And what else do I have here? Oh, yeah, wait, there's another one. Um, Gone with the Wind. I loved this book so much when I was in high school. It took forever to read it, but yeah, look how yellow the coffee is. Ah, brings back so many good memories. And what else do I have here on the floor that I took out? Okay. I think that is it. Oh, wait, here. I guess it's a classic The Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx and Engels. Okay. So now we're in my daughter's room and I also have a small shelf here and this is just miscellaneous stuff as well. So but I only have one classic here which I will show you guys. And it is Dracula by Bram Stoker. This is a very small book so I will probably be getting another copy soon just for uh, when I reread it for the ease of reading it because it is very small so I mean, it is not bad though, eh? like the text, so eh, we'll see. Because this has, you know, like this is a sentimental value, so anyways, we'll go to the bedroom now. Uh, I'll show you guys what I have on my bedside, and then we'll go to the living room. Okay, so this is on my bed bedside. So... Technically, what I have on my bedside is not even my current read, so this is just what I have here all the time for some reason. So, in terms of classics, I actually, I think, oh, there's, you know what, I don't know if this counts as a classic, but I have two uh, Latin books here. Relux Latin, I guess that's a classic, right? 
And uh, this one, first year Latin. Just the uh, language learning books. And then this is the only classic I have here technically, which is the Edgar Allan Poe Collected Works. I haven't read all of it yet, but some. I really like this. It's a really nice um, collection. And uh, I think that is about it. Yeah. Well, the Bible. The Bible is a classic, right? Aha. Okay. And now we'll go downstairs. Okay, so this is just a small cupboard in our, like in the hallway leading to the living room. So I also have books here. And okay, so in terms of classics, let me see if I can lower. So also here, not much. This is just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. So in terms of classics, I do have here my uh, Warm Piece uh, Penguin Cloth Bound book and uh, the Les Miserables by uh, Victor Hugo. I really like this copy, one of my the oldest books I have, I think. And then, uh, what else here? Okay, and another Ernest Hemingway. And this one is a collection of short stories. And is this a penguin one? What, what? I don't know which one this is. Oh, Scribner. Yeah. Okay. And do I have anything here? That's a classic. What is this one? Oops. Oh, no, that's a poetry book. Oh, I do have another classic here. And this one is uh, Little Prince. Antoine de Chant de Jupery. I think that's how you say it. Anyways. And yeah, so that's it for this one. And here in our living room, um, up above, is a bookshelf. So I will uh, show you guys what I have in this section. Okay, so in terms of the classics here, there's also not much. So I'll start off with the Faulkner here. So I have Absalom, Absalom, and these are the three red ones. The three red swines are vintage. As I Lay Dying. And The Sound of the Fury. And then another Faulkner is a light in August. And this one is also vintage, but not the red spine. And okay, and then here. Uh, okay. I don't know if this is considered a classic, but it's a house moving castle. And then another copy of Les Miserables, different translation though. And this one is a penguin. Oh my gosh! Heck, wait, hang on. Let me put that down. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And then another classic. East of Eden. And then a Moby Dick by Melville. And, oh, this one, Penguin, it's not really... Wait, is it a classic? Eh, it's Napoleon the Great by Andrew Roberts. I'll show you guys that anyway. Okay. I think that's it, and then we'll go to a different section. <laughs> okay, in this one, we are in another section of the living room. So I'll start off in this one. Okay, so starting off just here. Uh, let me see in terms of classics. On the Road by Jack Kerouac. And... Okay, this one is... Oh, let me see. It's a box set. This is actually my daughter's, but I'll show this to you anyway. It's the Anne of Green Gables collection. This is the Arctress. So it has the six Anne of Green Gables books by Ellen Montgomery. Okay. And then here, in terms of classics, let me just remove the photos. Let me see if I can adjust the camera as well. Okay, so starting off 
Break to Love, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This is a box set as well. It's very, very tattered. Oh, I can't even take it up. But anyways, yeah, I've read this uh, series a few times. And of Human Bondage. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, of Human Bondage by Somerset. W. Somerset Maugham. And what else for classics? Uh, Narnia, I guess. Yes, Lewis. Does this have all the books? I don't even know. I think so, yeah. It's been a while since I read it, so. Yeah, as you can see, it's <laughs> so. So worn out copy. And here these are just art books. Okay. Alright, so we'll go to Okay, so now we are going here. I think this is the last what? Oh my gosh. Sorry. Sorry. That's the last section here. Let me just Okay. See how I can show. These are all classics actually. So starting off with Rebecca. Daphne du Maurier, Jude the Obscure, Thomas Hardy, and two Salingers here. Race, High the Roof Beam, Carpenters, and Seymour, an introduction. Let's see if I put that back. Franny and Zoe, or Zoe. Yeah. The Inferno. Hi Dante. Uh, oh my god. That's also a Signet classic. You know what? Let me just... This one is also from University. Uh, also, I don't remember it. It's been so long. Germinal by Zola. And... Tale of Two Cities and uh, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. And this ones are the Oxford ones. Uh, if you guys have seen our older videos, this was in my top 10 books I want to read before I die. So, all right, we'll do Dickens. Bleak House. Duma, Count of Monte Cristo. Ulysses by James Joyce. Karamazov Brothers, or Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. Histories by Herodotus. Ugh. Okay, I'll do that later. Then Yid. Oh. The Aeneid, let me just remove that. The Aeneid by Virgil. Bagel's translation, Iliad, also Bagel's translation, Odyssey, Bagel's translation. I love, I love Bagel's. That's all I'm gonna say. Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. Bulgakov, sorry. The Enforcers, Howard's, Howard's End, oh my gosh. Then another War and Peace. This is the first War and Peace I actually bought, which is this translation by Maud. And this is the Wordsworth. And this is Anna Karenina Tolstoy. Actually, this one I've read, not this translation. This is a Rosemary Edmonds translation. The one I've read is the one by Constance Garnett, so I actually want to read this one and see if there's a big difference with the translation, so... Yeah. And then... Turn of the Screw by Henry James. And the last one... Oh my gosh. Is the Complete Works of Shakespeare, of course. Every house should have one. <laughs> Anyways... Yeah, and actually, I think that is about it in terms of my classics collection. Anyways, uh, let me think. Yeah, I think that's it. As always, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much if you made it this far. Alright, bye.